Howdy folks, hope you're doing well. I'm out here in the shop. As you can tell, I'm just about to dive into another project and it's a project that I don't do a heck of a lot of and what that is, is metal work. Now, you probably saw me build that trailer and that was, so. Oh, when was that, a few weeks ago? What I'm doing today is something somewhat similar. It's using metal, but it's for a different purpose. It's for evaporating sap. So it's for my maple syrup production. Right here, these are sort of the uh, stars of the game. These things are buffet trays, and these are uh, these are off Amazon. These are stainless steel, not all that expensive. I can't exactly remember. I think it was about thirty-five bucks Canadian. So I bought this, and I've got two of them. Plus, I've got a barrel, so that's just a standard uh, fifty-five gallon drum. And I also got one of those U.S. stove company stove kits or barrel kits. And you would have seen that in another video. And uh, here it is here. Basically comes with the door and we've got a cast iron damper and some other bits and odds and ends. Those are going to be used to go on to that 55 gallon drum in order to make for a basic wood burning maple syrup evaporator or maple sap evaporator. So what I'm going to get up to is I'm going to start by positioning things on that barrel. I'm going to figure out where I have to put holes, where I have to cut openings. And I'm probably going to probably going to learn by doing here. I haven't built one of these before, and so this will be a bit of an experience for me as well. But regardless of how it turns out, this thing definitely is going to be better than what I did last year. And if you want to see how my maple syrup season ended up last year, check out my other videos. But I can tell you, it was a long, tedious process, and I'm not going down that road again. So I'm going to get down to work here. Glad you guys are along, and let's get to it.
Well, folks, just put the chimney stack on there. That's just about it for me. So I'm going to show you around this little contraption here. And hopefully before long, we'll be out here actually boiling some sap. So check it out here. This is made out of a typical 55 gallon drum. And all I basically did was I cut the, uh, I cut the sides so that they popped up. And if you have a look there, that gives you an idea what I'm talking about. So I cut the sides so they flip up. What I did was I left a little arch uh, right in the middle there just for support. Let's take those out so you can have a look what I'm talking about. And if you have a look there, you guys can see I've got both sides, two different spots cut out. Uh, these are providing support on the edges. This kind of looks a little bit funny, but the, the little piece of material that was left there, I wanted to, you know, spruce it up there or strengthen it up there. So I put this underneath, bolted it in, and then I just took uh, an extra piece of the barrel and doubled it up. So that now is quite rigid. That way there's support not only on the edges, but also the ends. So all four sides of those buffet trays are supported. So if you look inside there, I still got to put some stuff in there. That's going to be for next time. I'm going to look around, see if I can rig up some, uh, oh, probably some fire bricks or something. Maybe just put some ash from the wood stove in the house in there and a barbecue grate. But this is the way the buffet trays are held. And if we swing on down here, you guys can see the door. This is just a standard, uh, standard door for these barrel kits. This one I'll show you in just a second. This, uh, this door along with the feet right down there. You can see the feet down there as well as the uh, the collar here underneath all this mess but the collar for the chimney pipe all that is from us stove company and uh, i did an unboxing on this here this is uh this is off amazon i bought it so not a bad little kit went together quite easily i'm overall quite happy with it so let's put these back in so you can see exactly how they go in And you push them all the way down. They fit nice and tight there. There's gonna be a little bit of an air gap here. I haven't decided if I'm gonna fill that in or not. A little bit of an air gap there, but overall pretty good. One thing I wanted to do with these two extra buffet trays I had was create a bit of a warming area. This area, the two big buffet trays, those are gonna be for the actual boiling warming trays I have at the back here. They are sitting on, they are sitting on, this little setup I made here. So I had a little bit of extra space there and I thought, geez, I'd like to put something. So what I did, I used some old aluminum legs off a bench and some brackets and I basically just bolted them into place. And if you guys were to have a little look-see up in there, there's nothing too fancy going on. Put a little piece of extra uh, of the barrel, put that on there just to, uh, to act as a support. Left an opening so I can still control the damper and uh, Overall, I think it looks pretty slick. So that'll be the area I can put these trays on and I can get everything nice and warm right from the pail on the tree in the back. Then once they're warm, I can put it into, uh, into the actual big evaporating trays where I'm gonna actually evaporate the water off the sap, make it some syrup. Well, folks, if you're interested in getting into some maple syrup, this is a pretty good start. This thing here is going to be light years better than my setup last year. If you want to see what that last year's setup looked like and all the headaches that involved, check out my playlist. But this thing, I think, will really boil the sap quite quickly. And I'm hoping with the little additions of the warming trays at the back, we can even get that bucket warmed up before we evaporate. So increasing efficiency, and hopefully that makes the season that much better. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions at all, you know where it goes. Put it on down below. I appreciate you checking it out, and hopefully everyone's maple syrup season goes just as well as I'm hoping mine goes. Guys, we'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.